This demonstration is designed to instruct you on using Metastock software and accompanying plugins. It is not a recommendation to buy or sell exchange traded instruments, but rather guidelines to interpreting and using specific indicators and features within the software. The information, software, and techniques presented should only be used by investors who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Thomson Reuters shall have no liability for any investment decisions based on the use of their software, any trading strategies, or any information provided in connection with the company. Like I said, I'm very excited to bring Michael on. Uh, Michael is uh, uh, an accomplished filmmaker. He's a, he's a best-selling book author. Um, he has a, a really good company called Trend Following Turtle Trader. And uh, Michael, I'm going to turn the time over to you. Well, let's just talk about the chart for a moment. But you know, where are we on this chart? And more importantly, while we can all look at this chart, this is the fundamental chart. I mean, we, we, none, of, none of us can predict this. We know we go through this path. We know this is going to happen. But, but how can you trade this? Because none of us can predict this. So how can we trade it? And I think it's a it's a it's a good thing to go ahead. I'll tell you what, this thing is really slow. You know, when you think about that chart, you really think about sheep. You know, when I when I filmed my film, we went to a sheep farm. And I think the reason I did that is because we all that's all we do as people. We just follow the herd. I mean that that's that's our that's by and large that the, the wide investment authority out there. That, that's what we do. We follow the herd. You know, one of the guys that I had a chance to meet was Vernon Smith. And Vernon spent his entire adult life looking at the idea of herds and crowds and how people interact in markets. And he's done a, he's done a lot of interesting research. And probably his most interesting piece of research, a slide coming here, is the notion that once a group experiences a trading bubble and a crash over two times, that's when they finally get to the idea of like, wow, okay, let's knock the bubble stuff off. And, and it's interesting to know, it's interesting to kind of look at this from, you know, from my perspective, from a political perspective, an economic perspective, a trading perspective, to think like Vernon Smith, to think like sheep, to understand that roller coaster, to understand that roller coaster that we're all on. But even Vernon Smith, a guy who won the Nobel Prize, when he says, when he makes this statement about bubbles, how can you trade this? I mean, it's impossible to trade this. So what can we do? It's not easy. And I think one of the things we all need to think about before we even get into the idea of what a lot of people know this, 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 this discussion is going to be about, the concept of trend following, I think it's really important to think about the conditioning. I mean, before we even get into the nitty gritty and maybe talk about some charts and talk about, you know, some people in here are probably going to know about trend following, some people are probably not. But everybody wants to make money. Everybody wants to figure out how to make money. But we've been conditioned. I mean, look at today. Look at that Newsweek, that Newsweek cover. It's on the front page of my blog. And here it is. I mean, if everybody in this room wants to figure out how to make money, the first thing you got to look at is what are we dealing with? We're all dealing with mutual funds to some degree, whether we own them personally, whether or not a family member does. And I think this, frankly, is one of the most disgusting charts that one could ever put together. It basically says that it roughly in the last 10 years, these mutual funds, some of the largest, made approximately $20 billion in fees and delivered no return. Now, they've delivered, you know, obviously they've come back a little here now with the last six, seven months, but still, relatively speaking, they've made no money. That's, you just got to take that in for a second. You know, so we think about this world that we live in. We've got this roller coaster. We know we love to create bubbles. We can listen to the Nobel Prize winners say, basically, you know, we can't just do one bubble in a row. We've got to do two bubbles in a row before we, before we actually learn something. And then we look at this and we say, my gosh, all these mutual funds, all this buy and hold, just hold on. 
and you're going to make money. Gosh, I think everybody in here knows that that's not just a strategy that anybody wants to trust anymore. And who wants to sit back and just say, I'm going to trust a mutual fund manager just buy something and holds on for the rest of my life. I mean, clearly, as the last 10 years have shown, you can make no money. You can lose a lot of money. You know, I wish I could have put the, the, the Newsweek cover on here today that just came out. It says, you know, America's back. So here's a couple negative covers, but now we've got the, you know, America's back cover. I don't think there's much to really say about Kramer. I think it just puts us, it puts us all in the mood to think about, you know, the idea before I even get into talking about trend following. What are we facing? What are we up against? We wake up each day. We're bombarded with information. A lot of smart people sit around and try and figure out what all this information means. I, I don't know how they do it. I mean, I, I, this information means... Whether Kramer says something or doesn't say something, it might be fun to comment on from my perspective. There's nothing that can be gleaned from it. And I love this quote from Paul Tudor Jones. Because I think this starts to get into the essence of where I exist, the essence of my research, the essence of my work, what I've put into books, and what I've put into a film now. And, you know, I mean, he's talking about when he first got into the business. But the reality is, whether there's a little information about fundamentals or a lot of information, it's all imperfect. It's all imperfect. I mean, I'm sure there's some people sitting in on this forum tonight that, that probably try and take in every bit of fundamental information they can each day. Maybe, maybe there's not, but let's assume there are. I mean, there's plenty of guys that come on CNBC every night. They tell you they know what's going to happen. They can tell you where the world's going tomorrow. But I think Jones has it right here. And this is, you know, if you ultimately, this, this, is the, this is the root. If you can believe in this, if you can believe in the idea that, you know, you could know what OPEC's going to do tomorrow, you could know what Bernanke's going to do tomorrow, you could, you could have all this inside information. But the reality is, is the market could still go in a different direction. Absolutely. It can, just, it can completely go in a different direction. I mean, I, not to get political for a second, but think about the drumbeat for the last year. And, 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 and from, a, from a political standpoint, an economic standpoint, I don't like to see governments spend money they don't have. But you can't make a bet on that because clearly, if you just want to look at U.S. stocks, U.S. stocks don't care about what bet the government is making or what the Fed is doing. U.S. stocks have said, we are on a trend and we're going up. Now, I think everybody on this forum knows that that trend won't continue. It'll eventually stop. And you'll eventually need an exit strategy. I mean, no exit strategy, you know, I mean, here's a great example. It's not always as it appears. I mean, everyone's been saying, hey, the dollar is going to go down. The dollar is going to go down. America is going to depreciate. I'm long the dollar right now. I have no earthly idea how long the dollar will go up. Maybe I'm going to get stopped out. But, you know, just because we, we have something that we believe in or, or we know something politically or economically, markets don't have to, they don't have to follow along. They don't have to care.